Hey, Facebook, how are you? I just did a live on YouTube and not sure exactly what has happened, but my one of my kids was telling me it cut the video off. Someone said I froze, then the, then the uh, chat froze. So when I went to play it back, it only recorded nine minutes of it instead of the whole 18 I did. So this is really take two. <laughs> and I'm gonna use the Facebook platform to do it because I really don't know what the hell is going on. I am having monsoons here, thunderstorms, and that could be messing with the digital satellite on my roof. So I'm gonna do it through here. But we do have a new moon in Taurus on May 19th, 2023. I hope we all survived the eclipse season because it has been a crazy month since the solar eclipse in Aries on the 20th of April, and then the lunar eclipse in Scorpio back on May 5th. Throw in a Mercury retrograde in Taurus, and all sorts of things have gone crazy, from you know ex-lovers coming back into our lives to bank issues, even like I've heard about people being hacked. Um, finances and and really a general feeling of scatteredness is very common in eclipse season especially if you have sun moon rising or um dragon head or tail in either an aries or a taurus energy or scorpio because we had a scorpio eclipse as well you guys feel this the most now the solar eclipse that we had back in april was very unusual as it was at a 29 degrees in aries and it was considered a hybrid eclipse. But then the new moon was 15 minutes in Aries before it slipped into Taurus, and, and making this the last new moon to take on a dual energy of both Mars and Venus. And some astrologers have considered this to be a black moon, but in my method of astrology, this is simply not the case. That's just my opinion and the method that I do. Um, if the last new moon had been officially in Taurus, then yes, by all means, this would be a black moon. Um, but Aries energy was there at least for 15 minutes and could be felt even at its weakened degree, it was there. Now the new moon in Taurus happens on Friday, May 19th at 11.53 a.m. This is Eastern Daylight Time. So, and isn't this how lovely to have a Taurus new moon on a Friday? Venus Day. It's an excellent day for magic making. Creating beautiful energy for the, for love and self-love, beauty, and the finer things in life, and putting yourself even on a budget with these stars is very blessed. It would not be a bad idea. Remember, Taurus is ruled by Venus, the goddess of love, peace, beauty, and inner harmony. This moon's energy is all about dealing with money and finances and banking industry in some ways. It deals with cryptocurrency, beauty, massage, aesthetics, meaning medi spa. So if you are one of those people that likes to get fillers and Botox, tomorrow is a green light and the next two weeks ahead for anything like that. Um, like I said, massage, aesthetics, this is where luxury items and decadent foods seem to be what we crave. And this moon is waxing now, and Mercury, like I said, is almost out of retrograde. So it's all about this feel-good energy around you. Um, Mercury in modern astrology left on the 14th. In my method, it's the 20th. So we are almost out of it. And you want to do something for yourself this week that makes you feel beautiful, happy, and satisfied. All investments, signing contracts, you know, furthering one's finances, and romance can be given the green light these next few weeks. So if you, this is the perfect next two weeks to find love, hire a financial advisor, uh, things like that get buy some new clothes now Taurus remember is a slow moving sign and with these last few months of this dragon's energy in Taurus things will be very active and busy both financially politically and for the world at large as this does rule earth changes too now I will say the USA is failing financially and is becoming the underdog in the crypto world where just a few weeks 
not a few weeks ago, but a few years ago, back in like 2018, 2019, we dominated the crypto space. But you've got Gary Ginsler and the SEC trying to instill laws and rules, but yet they don't really, they don't know their ass from their elbow. They can't comprehend the laws. And when you don't understand the crypto world, how can you implement laws when you have no concept of what the hell you're doing? And there is that strong possibility that they could make crypto illegal in the United States. Now, I will prepare all of you out there. I've said this, like I said, this is a take two. I've already done this once in YouTube and it didn't go through. I will be leaving the United States if they make digital currency illegal. But I'm already getting plan B ready just in case. Now, on a more positive note, these next few weeks will be under the spell of Venus, the goddess of love. And Mars, the lord of war, has entered into Leo on May 20th. So when fire, which is Leo, and Mars, which is fire, when fire and fire meet, uh, sparks could turn into an inferno in affairs of the heart. Um, passion is heightened. Um, but this can also signal fires as well. So watch your home, especially if you have a Mars and Leo placement. Make sure and be aware of your surroundings and, and your home. But this also um, really kicks off the fire season as well. So be aware of fires. This new moon also rides um, the dragon's head in Taurus, making this energy focus on, uh, once again, money and finances. And it is the last one of its dragon cycle meaning that this is the last new moon coinciding with the dragon's head in Taurus. We have like another 17 to 18 years before we see this placement of a Taurus Scorpio axis with the nodes. So this is the final breath in some ways. This new moon is, is almost like a redo of the things we didn't do or complete last month. The stars are giving you the individual the opportunity to try again giving you a second chance and the, and use the knowledge and the perspectives that you have learned in the past eclipse energy this month to forge forward all earth signs will be very magnetic and those souls born with a moon sun ascendant or dragon's head or tail in taurus you will feel this energy the most so enjoy these next few weeks my magical folk the new moon in Taurus is all about spells for love, self-care, beauty, material gains, and money in general. New moons in Taurus are all, all about finances and budgets, so it is advised to put yourself on a budget. The art of a millionaire is to let go of the poverty mindset that society has implemented on all of us. We need to retrain ourselves and our mentality about money. Now, this is all done by design. Before I go on, this is all done by design. When I was in school, they did teach economics. Since my kids have been in school, they do not teach economics. They don't want you to learn economics. This is all done by design to keep you indoctrinated. What did they tell you to do? get out of high school, graduate, either go to college, get a degree, get a job, a nine to five, get your 401k, buy a house. Is that really building generational wealth? You can't leave your children a job. You can leave them a business. This is what I'm saying. Change. We need to change our mentality about money. So any sort of spell work, to change the mentality of money and to rid yourself of debt and balances is blessed now. And this is a good time for those who are seeking to open new businesses or even e-commerces. Work with Jupiter and Taurus because Jupiter as of the 16th has moved into Taurus. Um, and this is great for blessing new businesses. So you use that energy and happy magic making. So these next few weeks, everyone will be filled with happiness and joy, but also drama. This is where beginnings and endings and even USA and Britain make headlines um, with major news. 
even in good stars, we're still going to hear negative news about our economy because of those days of caution, because of those um, universal biorhythm days, as we call them in ancient astrology. Um, we're always going to hear about things, even in good stars. Um, the environment around us is going to get active, too. It doesn't matter where we are on this planet. We're going to feel that energy. This is also where Mother Nature will become active. And if she didn't finish in the Uranic phase, which I gave the dates of what? I gave a big one. It was a week's long, the May 10th through the 17th. Now, luckily, here on, on the West Coast, we had like a 7 point, no, a 5.7, excuse me, earthquake in Northern California. Thank God it wasn't anything major. But we're not out of the woods yet. This is just the one hurdle we've gotten over. Um, this is going to be where Mother Nature becomes active. And what she, like I said, didn't finish in the Uranic phase, she's going to finish in the Munich phase. Now, I gave you a little snippet to the general public that I give my Patreons. My Patreons know, my, my crones know till the end of December what's getting ready to happen. My mother tier, they have theirs four months ahead, so they even have this information. I just shared just a snippet of it with the general public. If you're interested in this, you can go to my Patreon, which is Astro Strega. Five bucks a month, you can get all the information you need. But this is where Mother Nature is going to become active. I gave the dates of the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, but please remember it's always two days prior. Those three dates I gave are the zenith of energy, two days prior, and two days after. So um, Munich phase goes into effect around May 19th and ends around the 25th, maybe 26th. As the Munich phase moves in, this is where decisions are going to be made reg regarding our economy and the feds begin to prepare the general public to transfer to CBDC or FedNow coin. This will be effective in July of 2023. There really is no getting away from it. Um, the best thing you can do is put your money in digital um, and keep it on a hard wallet. There's ways to get around using the FedNow. We just have to be a little savvy about it. Now, the rest of the month is smooth sailing until about May 30th, May 31st, when Pluto is going to rear its ugly head again. Memorial Day falls on the 29th, and that is right at the beginning of a Plutonic phase, but the moon is still in Libra. So I'm hoping for the USA, we feel that peace, love, and harmony vibe over the hate and anger. But, you know, I'm, well, you know, one can hope, right? I can hope. I can hope. <laughs> I'm wishing all of you out there a very blessed new moon and a wonderful rest of the month. Bright blessings to all of you. And I do apologize to those of you who did watch this the first time on YouTube. Like I said, Mercury is still in retrograde. I have no control over the weather. So I do apologize, and like I said, this is take two. <laughs> All of you out there have a blessed new moon, and I will see you guys in a few days. Ciao.